You're watching DirecTV Hometown Heroes. I'm Joan London. In the city of Los Angeles, on-time high school graduation rates have dropped below 50 percent. But there are ways to keep at-risk teenagers motivated and inspired. We found a unique arts program that does just that. Los Angeles, California. Some call it a city built on dreams. But just 15 miles away from the hustle and bustle of Tinseltown, in the urban neighborhoods of the city, dreams are much harder to come by. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. But thanks to a nonprofit theater arts group called The Unusual Suspects, thousands of youngsters in LA's inner city are getting the opportunity to dream big. Are you gonna let him talk to her like that? The Unusual Suspects lets at-risk youth express themselves by writing and performing in original plays, the kind of creative outlet that few teenagers have in lower-income neighborhoods. It's exciting. It's really fun to see them learning new things and coming here and the excitement on their faces and to be a part of this. I'm Buddy the Clown, and this is my dog, Joker. And the goal is to empower them, to give them a voice, and to foster pride, self-confidence, and racial tolerance. Laura Lee is a working actress whose credits include CSI, Bones, and ER. Tamika, hey, it's Laura Lee calling. How are you? She created The Unusual Suspects after the L.A. riots in 1992. The streets were burning and our city was very segregated. So literally there was an ash coming down from the sky and I thought, this is my city burning. And what can I do to turn this into something positive? Hi. I thought, how do we empower them? Let's give them a voice and let them tell their stories. Where did you learn that? Unusual Suspects inspires teenagers in a unique way, helping them to find their voice through workshops where they write and perform an original hey, play. Why you got such an attitude problem? None of your business. Mm, 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 feisty. Just the way I like it. 17-year-old Galvin Mathis has a featured role in the current play, A Mile in Clown Shoes. Well, I play the role of Buddy the Clown. And then no clowns complete without a red nose. Galvin says Unusual Suspects is about much more than just performing. They take the time to put us all together, make sure we have something to do um, after school or something to do in the summertime and like really help us not only with the theater, but as, with, in life as well. Look at this guy. Galvin's twin brother, Devlin, is his co-star. He says his time in the workshop has taught him lessons about tolerance. The usual suspects have taught me many things about life. You know, I learned how to work more with people, how to adapt to different people and their likings and their personality traits. She wants this main dish, not your ish. Your game is sorry. Your game is whack. You better watch your back. They see the humanity in each other, the compassion, the humor, and they get to know each other. The teenagers spend hours each week learning their lines, building sets, blocking scenes, and rehearsing. All the while, they're learning teamwork, responsibility, and respect for others and self. I used to have a problem being patient, things like that. But with the unusual suspects, you know, I learned to be more patient. For these students, The Unusual Suspects goes well beyond being just a place to perform. I look at The Usual Suspects program as refuge from anything that's going on in my life because my parents are like split up and stuff and my mom has stress and so just that's a place where I can go and have fun and be myself. The Usual Suspects is uh, my extended family. I consider them my, you know, my home outside of home as well. I used to raise money being a clown. Now I'm an MC and I'm holding it down. Uh, I'm just here with a mic in my hand. I ain't no joke. I'm a rapper. I'm a one man band. After weeks of preparation, all the hard work and lessons learned culminate on opening night. I really don't think a lot before a show. Just kind of go out there and do it. I'm very excited about the show. We've got a good audience here tonight. So I'm sure a lot of the kids' parents are here and family and stuff. And so got a lot of support for the kids, which is really great. Finally, the lights come up and dreams become a reality. Everybody, listen, Joker can talk. He's a talking dog. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Everybody think you crazy. This may look like just a performance, but to these youngsters fortunate enough to take part in Unusual Suspects, it's that and a whole lot more.
I feel like the unusual suspects would definitely help me in my life because they put you on the right path. Everything that they say is positive. There's no negative feedback or nothing like that. The people in the usual suspects, um, they make me feel very much worthy and hopeful. The first year I came here, it was because I was in probation. I was ditching school, and if it wasn't for this program, I wouldn't go to school at all. For Laura Lee, 16 years of running the unusual suspects hasn't diminished her commitment to making a difference in the lives of teenagers. I think these kids are so precious and they have so much to offer, and so to give them a chance to empower them to tell their stories, to discover who they are and what they are capable of is, is an amazing thing to watch. In addition to their work at area high schools, the Unusual Suspects also has programs in place in foster homes, juvenile hall, and the probation department. For giving at-risk teenagers a creative way to build self-esteem and tolerance, Laura Lee, is a direct TV hometown hero.